first, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Of course, we really thank appreciate you. it. Um, and let's jump right into it. So, season three, you know, Ghost is finally kind of living his truth. He's with the woman that he loves. He's going straight, mm -hmm. um, but he's still mired in drama. Mm -hmm. And in Good word and, for it. and in one sense, um, his problems are even more. Um, I don't know, dangerous um, or, or have uh, more potentially fatal consequences mm -hmm. um, for both Ghost and Angela than in season two. Yeah. You know, how, how, how did we kind of get to this place? We, well, we got to that, that place, um, as Leela says, uh, Ghost showed his hand that was the ugliest of his hand. I don't know if Elle said it like that, but I mean, that's yeah. basically, he wasn't at a place where in season two, the hand was exposed that way yet. When I say the hand, I mean, the expose of the murders that he had been a part of, the expose of he being really the ghost and at the helm of this very successful drug business. Um, and he hadn't gone so far as to what Tommy asked him not to go so far into in season one when he says, I just don't want to see you get hurt again. When a bro says that to you, he's almost giving you an allowance to hang out with the girl a couple more times I'm telling you as a man, but don't get hurt. You can hang out with it. Don't go to where it seems like you're trying to go with this. And he went so far that we're at season three. And yes, you use the right word to say um, he is now at a place where he cannot figure out how to not hurt everybody around him, including himself. It is just a ticking time bomb. Why, why fire is underneath power this year is because it's such a combustible place that this man is gotten to. It's really bad. And and it, it goes also for you um, and for your character. You know, she's finally getting what she wants. They're they're living together. You know, um, in the episodes we saw, um, Ghost is introducing Angela to his kids. You know, they're finally kind of getting to a place of, of happy families and understanding, you know, with, with everyone. But at the same time, you know, you could lose your job. You could go to jail, you know. Um, so it's on the one hand, you're getting everything that you wanted. But on the other hand, there's just tremendous danger. You know, um, how does that bode for se season three? So I think as, a, as something, a big theme I've played with with Angela, and I think it's something that a lot of women uh, confront, is that voice inside them that, that starts to raise up, that's going, danger, danger, red flag here. And Angela's like, shh, I got what I want. Shh, shh, shh. And she's trying to shove it down. Because the thing is, is when you want something, you don't have it. So you don't know all of the facets of it or everything that it so Angela doesn't really know what she's brought into her home with bringing in Ghost. And she has room for him because he's made a promise that's, that Ghost is dead, meaning that a legal element of him is dead. She has room for him, and so she's, test, she's sort of being confronted with her own sort of lack of trust in the relationship. She, yes, he does put her in a very like, precarious position with her career. And it's ultimately like, how far does she let this love go it starts, before it starts infringing on her own sense of integrity and her own line of what she thinks is right and wrong as a human being? Because you can love someone, but at what cost? If it starts eroding your sense of self and your self-worth and your dignity and your integrity, then maybe you need to cut that loose. Yeah, and the base for the, the, base for the relationship is... is odd anyway because they got to go off in life whether they make their own kids or not or whether they just raise the three that ghost comes with if if he's staying in that place he's at what is that bold for their future as a husband and wife if they try to go to that place for 12 years I, not only am i sleeping one eye open because of my past but she's sleeping one eye open because of as she said i don't know who i brought into this sleeping with the enemy comes to mind you know what i mean and so that's a bad that adage is not necessarily something we want um as, as characters, but as she, ghosted. You know, but she loves him and she also loves the boy that she the fell non, in love with the and all the potential. Yeah. And so she really wants to support that trajectory.